Electrical connections have long been neglected because many people do shoddy work when it comes to wiring connections or joints. For instance, this is a 1.5 being joined to a 4.0 and the work that is done here is very, very risky and shoddy. When installing an electrical appliance such as a heater that heats water, you need to take extra care, especially due to the generation of steam which can enter into a joint and compromise on that connection. For us here in Kenya, what we are using is this instant shower head. We need to ensure that the joint that has been done is waterproof so that even the impact of steam, which is hugely generated on this instant shower head, will not penetrate into that joint affecting the wiring so that is our joint look at how we have done it and then we have used the waterproof shrink sleeves then we heat it with a heat gun so there is hot air generated to ensure that the glue inside that shrink sleeves ensures that that connection is waterproof once done this is how it appears and then it's time to test everything to ensure that it is working properly, hitting the water as it is intended. In case of three-phase distribution system, any connection must go through a cable lag. And that connection has to be very, very tight. Every circuit requires a specialized connection. This is a lighting circuit, for instance. Now, the ultimate connection when it comes to all of these is what we refer to as the WAGO connectors. This definitely connect the incoming and the outgoing, whether it's on the neutral or the live or the face. So the incoming will be fed on either of these two provisions here. And what you need to do is to simply lift up that lever like that. Once you fit in one connection, all you need to do is to do it like that. And you can see that metallic section in there clipping. So that is what will be happening whenever you connect a cable or a wire inside there. It simply goes in. We will require these two, uh, two WAGO connectors, one for the neutral line, the other one for the face, starting with the face. I will simply insert it like that, then make that clip, and then for this other cable, the incoming one, I'll simply connect it inside there, and then make that connection. What you need to know is that it is very tightly holding in there as it clips. So for the neutral, for the face, we are done. When it comes to the neutral, we do the same, take another WAGO connector like that, as you can see. So we will simply insert it in there, just ensuring it goes all in. And then we clip for that part, just like that. What I can assure you is that it is really, really tight, making that connection electrically and mechanically sound. And then take the other one. And insert in there clip it like that take them inside just be inside there using our cover we'll simply connect it like that if you want to disconnect that connection next time you simply lift up the levers like that and uh, what I would like to show you that is very interesting with these connectors is that the wires are not damaged or dented it's just a scratch, so leaving our wires so good. And uh, you notice how easily I have disengaged that lever. Just like that, just like that. And there we have it. Also on the neutral, what we have is uh, clean wires, not damaged or dented. And uh, look at how fast I did it. So if I want to connect the Wago connectors back, it is super easy for me it's just a matter of plug and play or you just clip it inside there sure that it goes all in clip and we are done with the face the neutral 
very fast. If you can remember what you are doing the insulation tape, it was quite of a work there. And uh, all that we need to do is to take them back like that. And uh, we are good to go. My top post, this could be an ideal way of doing things, especially in the ceiling where there are extreme temperatures for any insulation tape on a joint. In most cases, you find that they come out. Also, there's another risk where you have rodents eating up the insulation, compromising that electrical joint. Electrical installation in the ceiling needs to be taken with a lot of care. A lot of electricians are carrying out this work with a lot of carelessness. What is happening? We need to have this discussion. When it comes to the Wago connectors, they are very, very reliable. And you can also use a round cover or a circular cover on this circular box so that you keep the mice away and that will be a good job. Loose electrical connections, especially at the consumer unit level, contribute to a lot of electrical faults and these faults lead to damage to devices that have been connected in our homes, be it in the consumer unit or the switching gears that we use. It also puts the client at a risk of either losing their appliances or spending too much of electricity bills. At the consumer unit, we need to take a lot of care. Especially here at Topites, we normally encourage electricians to use bigger consumer units that can accommodate all the protective devices that are used so that you don't squeeze or merge everything up in that little space that is provided by that consumer unit. This one will be a point of reference for the termination before it goes to the neutral, the return path for electricity. See you in the next one.